Hello guys, today I will be talking about gallbladder ileus. Gallbladder ileus is the obstruction which is caused by the gallstones involving the small bowel. Small bowel being ileus being the part of the small bowel is mainly affected. The disease small bowel obstruction is mainly seen in the patients who are 60 years or above and mainly seen in female patients. Now I will talk about the pathology. How does the gallstone enter the ileum? For gallstone to enter the ileum, there should be a path and path is provided because of the inflammation of the gallbladder. Since the gallbladder inflame, gets inflamed in this condition, then this figure you can see I have made a gallbladder. This is the gallbladder and this is the common hepatic duct, common hepatic duct which is joining to form with the to form common bile duct. And this is uh, this is the normal anatomy which is going along the pancreas to get the pancreatic. And this is a stomach, that is our stomach. Then this is the duodenum part of the stomach. So there is a fistula which is formed between the duodenum. So there is a fistula which is formed between the duodenum and the gallbladder. And this fistula provides the gallstone to enter into the duodenum. So you guys will wonder why does the obstruction occurs in ileum, not in duodenum, because the ileum is the ileus and the ileum, whatever you can call it, ileus is being the narrowest part of the gut. So gallstone gets lodged over there and causes obstruction. And this fistula is mainly formed because of the inflammation of the gallbladder. Since the gallbladder gets inflamed and the pressure necrosis because this gallstone on gravitate during down and causes a pressure necrosis leading to formation of a fistula connecting the duodenum part and the gallbladder and giving a path for gallstone to enter into the duodenum. So here you can see I have drawn an ileum and inside the ileum you can see the gallstone being lost. And since the ileum is the narrowest part, the gallstone causes obstruction over there. The next thing you will ask me that how will a patient present me? Like what are the clinical features which are seen with gallstone ileus? The first is being the pain. Pain being the uh, in scenes almost in all small bowel obstruction. And the second is vomiting. That is regurgitation of the food coming out from the mouth. The second and the last thing is distension being because the food cannot pass that there will be distension and the most characteristic feature which is seen in the gallbladder ileus is stapleladder peristalsis and the next thing i will talk is about the regular stride this stride you should know if you want to diagnose a patient with gallstone ileus the first thing which is is pneumobolia Pneumobolia is the gas which is present inside the gallbladder. Second is presence of gallstone. And the third is enteric obstruction. If you find these three things, you should always think about a gallstone ileus or gallstone obstruction. Next thing is Bovaret syndrome. The Bovaret syndrome, you don't need to memorize it. You just need to know about it. It's a gastric outlet syndrome. So you can make out from the name gastric outlet syndrome that is a stone get lost in the duodenum and it travels towards the stomach that is towards the gastric uh, outlet and it get lost over there and there will be proximal migration causes obstruction at the gastric outlet okay and the next thing is the invest so now i will be talking about the investigation the first investigation is plain x-ray on the x-ray you will like to see gas and fluid in the biliary system. Next is small bowel enema. In enema, you will come to know either just partial or complete obstruction. The investigation of choice is CT scan. CT scan being the investigation of choice is because it will help you to see inflammation of the gallbladder or any kind of gallstone or air filled fistula. The next thing is management and treatment. Management treatment is by anterior lithotomy. Lithotomy in surgery means removal of the stone and entero means intestine the removal of the stone from intestine so the now there will be two type of uh, stage that is single stage operation and there is a two stage operation single stage operation is done when the condition of the patient is good if the condition of the patient is good the first is performance anterior lithotomy then followed by cholecystectomy and then followed by closure of the cholecystodurinal fistula cholecystectomy 
is the removal of the gallbladder provided the gallbladder is inflamed and can perforate the cholecystotomy is performed the second thing is two stage in two stage the first is performed is anterior lithotomy in this the condition of the patient is not good during anterior lithotomy so there will there is a break or waiting time of six weeks after six weeks you perform cholecystotomy and then in the end you perform the closure of the derenal fistula so this conclude a small video about gastroduodenal ileus if you like this video please subscribe and please like the video so that i can keep on making the other videos about other medical topics and if you want any other medical topic just let me know thank you